If you're looking for cheap and instant ultimate team coins, be sure to check out UT Coins for you. Their links will be in the description down below. £3 for 100k. And if you use my discount code R9RI, you will get an extra 5% off. What's going on people and welcome to today's prediction video. Today we're going to be covering Germany, four Germany players. Since they won the World Cup yesterday, congrats to you Germans. They deserved it, they were the best team. I'm a bit gutted Messi didn't lift that trophy, but it is what it is. Germany were the team at the tournament, it's as simple as that. So if you want to suggest players for the next episode, make sure you do that in the comment section. Like the video if you do enjoy it, that would be much appreciated. And I'm thinking about doing a video later with my team of the tournament for the World Cup and another video as well for the worst team of the tournament. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. But we're going to be looking at Thomas Muller now. He, this guy scored five goals in this World Cup. He's got ten in the two World Cups he's played. Fully deserves an upgrade. I'm not sure whether he'll be a right midfielder or a player in the central. And I'm not sure, to be honest, because him and Robin like to switch at club level. So you Bayern Munich fans, let me know what is Muller's real position. Had an awesome season once again. I think he scored 26 goals in all competitions. Five in the World Cup, ten in the World Cup altogether. He's going to beat that record in 2018 for sure well we'll move on to mario gert so the guy who scored the winning goal against argentina come off the bench man chested it and used his left foot to put it past romero what a great goal and a world cup winning goal from the 22 year old mario gert so what a player he is only 22 so he's only going to improve and i think he'll be an 86 rated player next year now if you do disagree with any of these ratings be sure to leave a comment in the comment section and tell me why you disagree that would be awesome and this episode is just basically Bayern Munich players we pick four Germans I'm gonna cover a few more as well along the coming weeks so yeah look forward to that but Goetze deserves a massive upgrade and that includes his shooting for sure so we'll move up to Schweinsteiger this guy was robbed absolutely robbed of a place in the team of the year in January and that includes the team of the year card on FIFA because he is one of the well actually the, probably the best box to box midfielder going he's ridiculous an absolute warrior you seen him yesterday against Argentina kept getting fouled kept getting up carrying on doing his thing he's just an awesome player and I think he'll get upgraded he deserves to get upgraded to a 90 rated player in my opinion one of the best midfielders if Xavi and Iniesta were 90 a couple of seasons ago, why can't Schweinsteiger have that 90 rating? Tell me in the comment section down below if you agree with that or not. But in my opinion, he's one of the best, deserves that 90 rated card and deserves to be in that team of the year come January, as do a lot of Germans. So yeah, hopefully he gets that 90 rated card and he's in the team of the year because that'd be great. Boateng now, a criminally underrated centre back ridiculously underrated in my opinion and had an awesome World Cup showed what he could do a right back as well deserves more pace on his card deserves to be an 85 rated center back and those stats are ridiculous so he's up there in my opinion with the best underrated as hell let me know if you agree with that or not I mean he every center back makes mistakes Ramos Thiago Silva they don't really get criticised too much when Boateng made a mistake. He just gets, you know, ripped to shit. And he's just an awesome centre-back in my opinion. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like the video, subscribe, suggest plays in the comment section, and I'll see you soon.